Hey, what's up, guys? Weeder fan here. I uh, just want to give a quick shout out to Maritime Spook. He's uh, he's a fellow YouTuber from the Maritimes, and uh, really enjoy watching his channel. Anyways, I was talking to him this morning about uh, about fire kits. I was checking out his video on his fire kit, and he inspired me to do this video. So I just want to show you guys my fire kit and what's in it. So first of all. This pouch here is a uh, water resistant fabric. I actually bought a pretty sizable sheet of fabric and uh, to make a cover for my sled that you saw in the video. What was it titled? Uh, I'll put the title up here somewhere, I can't remember. Uh, I ended up having a bunch of leftover fabric, so I hand sewed this pouch myself. This is, like I said, water resistant fabric. Really tough, really nice. Uh, just through a loop here in the front just to give you an idea of the size this is my wallet so you can see it's not filled so that's about the size of it give you a comparison anyways let's have a look at what's in here okay so that's it guys um First of all, I guess we'll have a look at the fuel source. So laced together here, I have a bunch of tinder. So this is a bunch of uh, pine shavings, right from very small shavings to some bigger pieces. Uh, right here, we just have some dry cotton balls. This is for you that don't know why I have cotton. Cotton is a great tinder, so you fluff it up. Actually, this is way too much for not having anything to doubt it here with. So a little bit of cotton. Some fire steel. And just like that. Just like that. It's, uh, it's, it's cotton. And burning my hand. Just sealed in a Ziploc bag. And here we have some cotton balls. See there's a fuel rolled on there. So these are actually rubbed with a lighter fluid. Just, uh, I have Zippos. Collects a few Zippos so I always have lighter fluid around. And that makes these catch extremely well. Uh, also here we have some aluminum anhydrous. So this is sort of like the packets of wet fire you see, just a cheaper version. Wet fire is actually pretty expensive, but the this stuff will take a spark or light with a lighter real well, and it burns for quite a while too. And you don't have to use the whole pack, you can just break off some little pieces. Here we just have some, uh, some waterproof matches, a brand new mini Bic. And uh, just a cheap fire steel from Amazon. So I've got all the bases covered there. I actually find, guys, that uh, if you look on Amazon, you can find these real easy um, for roughly two bucks. And you can see it's a, a pretty sizable little rod in there. It's it's kind of small, but it's backed by this piece of steel, so it won't break off. It's got a nice tab here to hold on to, not too bulky, and this really fine metal tab works well. There was a big long lace attaching it, but I just put some uh, some fine paracord through here, tied a notch, melted on each end. But I find these throw uh, throw a great spark every time. So uh, I find these great after I saw how good the first one was. I had to uh, grab some more, so I got some in the mail right now. So yeah, guys, that's it. So we have uh, all bases covered here. Also, I mentioned I carry a Zippo as well. But uh, fire steel, lighter, matches. And we got some dry cotton, field cotton, a bunch of pine shavings, some, uh, some tin oxide or aluminum hand address or whatever there. So all in all, uh, I think I got all bases covered. Works pretty well. If I can't get a fire started with this, then uh, I'll probably go back home, go in and watch TV or something. Anyways, guys, uh, 
just polished up the edge of the Garant axe that I did a, a video of there, put out probably a couple weeks ago. So check out footage of the finished edge. Anyways, see you later guys.